It's exactly 2 o'clock p.m. his arm out the window. Three Mason satanic idiot. And he looked like he was trying to hit me with his car. Excuse me, do you have change to spare for food to eat? Huh? Do you have change to spare for food to I'm eat? I'm sorry, I don't have any cash. Okay. I'm sorry. Alright, thank you. It seemed like my twin sister is trying so hard to um, discredit my targeting and mock me. You know, trying to mock, mock and discredit. You know, it seems like she's trying to control me and thinks that I'm supposed to look. A whole bunch of gang stalkers in there, elbow out the window. Um, she's trying to bully and frighten and control me. You know. Yeah, they had a, a cab driver with his feet hanging out the window and a couple of cabs ab ahead. A perp had his, I mean, a cab driver had his arm out the window. Well, one of them had his foot hanging out the window. As I said, today is a day it feels like everybody's against me. Feels like nobody's on my side. Feels like everybody's an enemy today. So. I mean, my twin sister sit there and laugh. I'm, I mean, she falls. Come on, man. She makes up lies, uh, you know. Falsely accused me of being a pedophile and touching her kids. Hold up. Excuse me, does anyone have change to spare for food to eat? Excuse me, do y'all have chance to spare for food to eat? No, I'm sorry. Okay. So, I don't, how, how am I a sick person if you um lie on somebody about touching your kids and then when you defend your innocence, you'll be like, keep my kid's name out your mouth. No, I'm going to defend my innocence and speak the truth. And I'm going to keep on speaking the truth. So, you keep on lying and sending your flying... Come on, man. They, you keep lying, making up lies and sending your flying monkeys to come and attack me. And when I defend my innocence, you say keep my kid's name out your mouth. See, they're perps. Immature-ass perps. So... So she, 
Excuse me, do y'all have chains to spare for food to eat? No, I don't need chains. Alright. I only got a couple bucks. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. So. I mean, you wouldn't make up. Uh, any jokes and make up a lie about somebody doing harm to your kids and then laugh and talk about me violating your kids and making donkey noises that shit is not funny for you to lie about it it's not funny and for you to make jokes about donkey noises that's not funny either and they have people in the TI community who question they ask come on man they asked if my twin sister is the one who got me on the gang stalking list, take, took an, out on an um, insurance policy out on me, or if she's my handler. See, they got so many people talking loud, trying to over -talk me, overpower me. Look at her. She looks like she's a druggy perp. So I was saying that... um. And they get louder and louder the more I need to talk. See, they're talking about death right next to me. So. Yeah, people question whether or not my twin sister is my handler or if she got put me put on a gang stalking list or if she um or if she was the one who took out a, a life insurance policy. But no. The foster mom the foster mom got me put on a gang stalking list and my twin sister just following in her footsteps with the abuse. I'm sitting here got to be in competition. My voice got to be in competition with everybody else. But I'm not scared of y'all no more. Stop thinking that y'all can try to scare me. I'm not going to fear. I'm not going to fear or obey y'all. And you're not going to teach me any fucking lesson. I'm not learning any lesson from wicked satanic people.